The goal of the Olympics is to help build a better, more peaceful world through international cooperation, friendship, and the love of the games. Every few years, thousands of the finest athletes in the world gather together to compete in the Olympic Games. They come from hundreds of countries, from all parts of the globe, and for the length of the Games, the world comes together on common ground in a celebration of peace and unity. But what are the Olympics? The first Olympic Games took place in Greece nearly 3,000 years ago in 776 BC. They were athletic competitions held in honor of Zeus, the king of the gods. The Games happened every four years, and during the Games there was an Olympic truce when wars and battles were not allowed so that the athletes from different cities could travel safely to and from the Games. Originally, the Olympic Games only had one event, a short race across a stadium. But through the years, more events were added, including boxing, wrestling, long jump, throwing javelins and discus, and chariot racing. In the ancient Olympics, only men were allowed to compete. The winners were awarded a wreath, or crown of olive branches, which was a great honor and often received money and other prizes. The final games of the ancient Olympics were held in 393 AD, ending a tradition of over a thousand years. It wasn't until almost 1500 years later that someone tried to hold the Olympics again. Small events modeled after the ancient Olympics were held in various places in Europe off and on for over a hundred years until the International Olympic Committee was created in 1894 by Baron Pierre de Coubertin of France. The first games organized by the IOC took place in Athens, Greece in 1896 and featured 241 athletes from 14 countries. Since that small beginning, many things have changed. Women first competed in the Olympics in 1900. The Olympics were expanded to include winter sports like skiing and figure skating, and special Winter Olympics were held to make that possible. Parallel Olympics, now known as the Paralympics, began to be held for athletes with disabilities. Not so long ago, youth games were introduced, which allows athletes between the age of 14 and 18 to compete. Today, the Olympic Games are held every two years, with Summer Olympics and Winter Olympics alternating, so that there are four years between each Summer Olympic Games and four years between each Winter Olympic Games. These are only some of the differences between the ancient Olympics and the modern Olympic Games. While the ancient Olympics were held in the same place each time, the modern Olympics are held in different cities around the world. In the ancient Olympics, winners were awarded olive branches, but in the modern Olympics, the victors receive medals. Third place wins bronze, second place wins silver, and first place gets a gold medal. The gold medals are not actually made of solid gold, however. They are made of silver covered with a thin layer of gold. Another important symbol of the Olympics is the Olympic rings. Five interlocking rings of blue, yellow, black, green, and red on a white background. The colors of the rings were chosen because every flag in the world at the time had at least one of those colors on it. Each of the five rings represents one of the inhabited continents of the world. North and South America are counted as one, along with Africa, Asia, Europe, and Australia. After the rings, one of the most important symbols of the Olympics is the Olympic flame, or torch. The lighting of the torch is a reminder of the ancient Greek myth when Prometheus stole fire from the god Zeus to give it to humans. Before each Olympics, the torch is lit in a special ceremony at the site of the ancient Olympics in Olympia, Greece. It travels around Greece and then begins a special journey to the city that will host the Olympics. During the opening ceremonies of the Games, the torch is used to light a huge cauldron, which stays burning until the Olympics' last day. 
When the flame is put out, it means the official end of the Games. The goal of the Olympics is to help build a better, more peaceful world through international cooperation, friendship, and the love of the Games. The most important thing in the Olympic Games is not to win, but to take part, just as the most important thing in life is not the triumph, but the struggle. The essential thing is not to have conquered, but to have fought well. I hope you enjoyed learning about the Olympics today. Goodbye till next time.